Oh, now, the last in the present series of comedy with Kelly Monteith. Hi, I'm Kelly Monteith, and welcome to Kelly Monteith BBC Memories. Um, it's a little different this time. We're shooting from the set of my new web series, The Real Geezers of Beverly Hills Adjacent. It's um, actually my apartment, and we shot here. We shot a lot here, actually, and I um, all kinds of different scenes. I was on the floor in one episode, and uh, my son and I were up there by the bar in one episode. I was in the bathroom, and we had a great actress named Jodie Fisher, who was my date, and she came in here and sat down before she ran off because of her little issue, as she called it. So I hope you check out The Real Geezers of Beverly Hills Adjacent. It's available on Amazon uh, in the United States and in the UK as well. And we're trying to get it out on to the rest of the world. I hope it lives up to its hype. Supposed to be really good. But uh, it's kind of good to be back home. But right now I want to talk about the BBC Memories. Um, the clip we're going to show today, uh, if, I don't know if you saw a couple of, of clips ago, we showed um, when I was at a costume party and I spent the night with a girl in a hotel and I had to come down with the same costume I had on the night before and I was dressed as a tomato. Well, this is the same hotel we shot this scene in where I, um, I, I was on the road and when you're on the road a lot, you stay in different hotels every night, and all hotels are different. So when you get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, sometimes the bathroom's over here, sometimes the bathroom's over here, and you get all confused, and as a result, I end up in the hallway um, naked. And uh, unfortunately, I don't look the same anymore as I did then. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get some laughs out of it, and roll them. Hello, this is Lost Luggage. Just want someone here found luggage. <laughs> uh, this is Kelly Monteith calling. Uh, I'm calling about my bag. You know the one that's on the world tour? Oh, that one. You're setting a company record. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Zippity doo dah. Look, I, I would appreciate it getting it back because I would like to change my clothes. You know, uh, the ones I have, they just. Uh, seem to need me anymore. They're acquiring a life of their own. I've got good news for you. Your bag arrived from Moscow this morning, and it's on its way to Manchester now by express messenger. Oh, that's great. Where? Manchester, to your hotel. No, miss. That was two days ago. I've been in two other towns since then. Oh, well, not to worry. At least you and your bag are in the same country now. It won't be long before you're in the same town. And who knows? Maybe even the same hotel. Bye. Bye. I don't believe this. Oh, I am so tired, I don't even know where I am. In that case, I better get the layout of the room. That's the trouble with staying in a different hotel every night, see? The rooms might look alike, but the layout's different. In one hotel, the bed's up against this wall. In the next hotel, the bed's up against the opposite wall. And if you haven't got your bearings the night before, you're in for a very rude awakening. <laughs> so the next morning, your mind says, hold it. Remember what happened yesterday when he got up on this side, dummy? He walked into the wall. I get up on the other side. Of course, your mind was right. <laughs> Now, just when you think you've got that solved, you're in yet another hotel room with yet another configuration. So the most important thing to ascertain before you get into bed is which door leads to the bathroom. Because this is going to be your immediate and urgent destination. Your mind is saying, hurry, hurry. Your bladder doesn't stop to consider that you're now in a different room and that before what was the bathroom door is now the door to the corridor, which is all right. <laughs> Sleep in the
fire drill. <laughs> Would you send the porter up with the key to room uh, 357, please? <laughs> I sure would appreciate it. <laughs> Standing in this hotel corridor, naked as a jaybird, right? This woman walks by, she sees me, she says, Hey, you know, you look a lot smaller than you do on TV. Really? Yeah, it was embarrassing. Now, wait a minute, it was cold in the hall. Believe me, it was. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, a lot of people asked me if I really was naked uh, then and didn't have any sort of flesh-colored G-string on, but I was, I was totally naked. And thank God there was a, a fire extinguisher there. Um, and, you know, I had my usual crew uh, behind there, and we had these extras that came around the corner and, and saw me. And I had all kinds of courage in those days. I did a, a couple of naked scenes, actually. I did one in the first series, and I'm not an exhibitionist, but if, it's, if it gets a laugh, I'll do it. So uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun to do. And I understand uh, many years later that Rowan Atkinson did a similar kind of scene on the Mr. Bean uh, series that he had when he was also naked in the hallway, but mine was done uh, in the 80s, early 80s. But uh, that was it. Uh, we got a couple of more clips coming up next week. I, I hope you stick around for those. I hope you enjoyed these. And I look forward to seeing you again. And um, well, so that's a wrap. It's Kelly Monteith with Kelly Monteith's BBC Memories. And thank you very much for watching. Now hold on, Kelly. We haven't told the people about your new show, The Real Geezers of Beverly Hills. I, I told them at the top of the show, God, I did. Oh, that's right, you did. Uh, well, I guess we're done then. Yes. You, you may go. Okay, yeah. wait a minute, I live here. You go. Jeez, yeah, this is my house, you go. Okay, well, I'll go then. Ow. Ow. Ow just trying to promote his show, The Real Geezers of Beverly Hills Adjacent, available on Amazon Prime. <laughs> oh, hey, who's that? I wonder if she's in The Real Geezers of Beverly Hills Adjacent. <laughs>